Hello everyone, I'm Bigatick, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband, where if you were paying attention last episode, if you were beady-eyed, you probably would have noticed that I I said I had no food in my inventory except for one piece of bread. But in reality, I had a bunch of fish as well. Uh, however, I have gone ahead, sold all of the loot that I was holding on to, and uh, managed to buy some more food. So we are now safe in terms of food. I did keep my rusty morning star because I do want to get that strength 13 at some point, which will be on my next level up, which is not, not too far away. Uh, so on my next level up, I do want to be able to grab that, that morning star because it is seriously powerful. Now, where is this Sea Raider landing? Normally, it's up here. But maybe, maybe it's not this time. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm going to have to fail that quest. Because I really, really want to head down and raid Tilbo Castle. Though, oh, I, I don't know what I want to do. There are so many Sea Raiders up here which would make such good fights. Especially now that I have, uh, you know, one more level and I'll get that Rusty Morningstar. So I am... I've lied to you, I'm not going down to Tilbo Castle. I am going to catch up to this bastard of a Sea Raider here. Except for the fact that I now need to join Jarl Aiden. Really? Oh, come on. Where is he? Uh, he's going to... Tear. Is that right? April 19th. We believe the fortress will be worth the effort to take it. That is Tear. So if we head out to here. Let's head to Sargoth first. It will make a nice destination point. And then from there we'll head out to Tyr. Hopefully we'll make it in time. How long do we have? Four days to make it across. Huh. Now I don't expect anything exciting to happen during this little uh, travel. So I might do something I don't do very often and that is put a bit of a cut into one of my episodes so guys, I'll see you when I reach Tyr. Where was I going? Sarkoth? Hmm, that was a terrible little uh, interlude there. I will, I will see you when I reach Sargoth. Ah, so we have reached Sargoth, and I have found Jarl Aiden. So let's go ahead and report to him. Uh, he doesn't even know who I am. Uh, so, you know, you know, he, he also wants to fight me because I killed one of his men when I used to work for the Swadians. Uh, however, I have a good company of, you know, hardened soldiers, so he is happy to see me, which is, which is always good news. So let's go ahead and... I don't want to talk to him. I must... I want, I want to... Follow him. Jarl Aiden, a company. Yes, thank you. Just 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 keep keep doing that. That that's fine. We are going out now. We are starting to roll out, which is nice. Hopefully we're gonna be heading out to tier. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. We did get a couple recruits on the way, which is is very, very nice. I'm gonna go put them above the Vega recruits. The Vega footmen will go below the Nord recruits. Uh, but the Nord recruits will go above the Vega recruits. We have 51 uh, in our party at the moment. However, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where'd y'all letting go? You. You. Come on. I need to I need to accompany this man. Uh, I accidentally clicked away. I do have only. 
Oh, no, I have 51 available to me. That's fine. I thought before I only had 47. Uh, so that's good. It seems to have seems to have gone up, which is very, very nice. 5.3, 4.7. I will actually be able to keep up with all of these people, which is very, very nice. Uh, everyone, the Nords seem very, very small, which is a little disheartening. Um, like, I could probably, I'm bigger than all bar two of these. I could, I could take these guys. That's a, that's a problem. If I can, if I could take these, like, the Nords myself, then it probably not, you know, good to be sided with them. Now, Yarl Aiden wishes to speak to me, which is there. Found him. The army supplies are dwindling too quickly. Bigger Tikirian, I need you to bring me five heads of cattle. Yes, sir. That I can do. Let's head down to Hjelbigi, uh, which is currently being raided, which is a bit of a shame because I want to raid it. I want those cows. So, won't be ra raiding Hjelbigi, but I could raid Rehablet? Rehablet? How do you say that? Rehablet. Yes, let's go and raid Rehablet and try and get myself some cattle. Uh, I don't need to, you know, whatever he sent me on, I can go and do. So that's, that is nice. Uh, come on, head on over to Rehablet. Now, what I was worried about is sometimes if it takes you too long to catch them, to catch up to them, you know, you fail your quest. And I was hoping that I didn't have to stick within a certain distance of him, because then I would also fail my quest. But that is not the case. The case is that I can raid Rehabilit. Let's take a hostile action. Steal cattle. 14 heads. Yes, please. Yes, please. 13. Okay, let's... So what you have to do, I believe, is you have to get this side of them. And then drive the cattle on them. Come on. What? How did I fail? How did I fail that? It's... Oh, it got cancelled. I didn't fail. It got cancelled. Which is a shame, considering the fact that I have 13 of them right here. I did, oh, that's disappointing. I have, however, leveled up. So let's go ahead and give myself that strength 13 that I so dearly wanted. I'm also going to go ahead and put it into can't do trainer what was it it was going to be prisoner management or leadership was it no not leadership prisoner management or inventory let's go ahead with inventory because i feel i'm about to get into some good fights uh so let's go ahead and put it in that and i really want the loot so now i can put that there rusty morning oh fantastic Yes. Come on, drive these cattle forward. You just sort of zigzag behind them and they'll they'll walk away from you, which is, is very, very nice. Where is the army? Here. Okay, it doesn't matter because they quit quit on me anyway. So let's just go ahead and join the battle. 299 versus 75. Might have been a good idea to um to slaughter those cattle and get the food uh, but that's okay let's get we'll get our cavalry to hold there and our infantry to follow us what is oh look at that morning star oh that is that is beautiful i look like a real knight now oh lovely charging away let's go let's go Woo! is this are these my guys or their guys i am not sure that, that's that's there, guys. Let's just hold back for a second here uh, and wait because I don't want to get. Oh, listen to that swing! Can you you can you can hear it go through the air? Let's take out this crossbowman here. Oh, straight through him! Fantastic! Yes! Oh, on his head! Crowned him! Absolutely crowned him! Am I? Yeah. Am I knocking these guys unconscious or am I killing them? I'm really not sure. Hey, come on. Oh, that's that's an enemy there. Let's take him out. Oh. 
Hit his shield. Yeah. Ah, it's killing him. So this thing actually kills people. It doesn't just knock them unconscious. So it's not quite as useful as I would have liked. But it does go through shields, which is very good. Though these guys... These guys are doing a lot of damage to me. So, uh, let's go ahead and just take these guys out. Oh, slightly missed my swing there. This guy here is lining up a shot on me, but you should have you should have kept your uh, your crossbow out, mate. Why just switch to the to the club? That was a rookie rookie mistake. Oh, couple knights here. Oh. Good, good uppercut there from that knight. Bit of a shame, really. Oh, come on. Those, those swings, those, these swings are very, very hard. It's the, those side swings, I can always seem to time right. But the, um, the overhead never seem to quite get it. So, there's that issue to, to contend with. Let's try and, I'd really like to take out some of these knights. Come on. Give me that, give me that it's sweet, sweet XP. Yes, that's one guy down. Oh, this knight is running. Let's try and get him in the back. Oh, yes. What a swing. First try, nailed him, and the battle is won. We did lose a man at arm, but that is okay. Uh, my name is Bigger Takiri, and yes, it is. Let's go ahead and grab as much loot as we can. Return. Fantastic. Let's um, let's find y'all Aiden. If he's around here somewhere. Y'all Aiden. Company. Let's chill out with him. And then let's also... Let's try and talk to him. Yarl Aiden. Give me tasks for me. I'd like to send a letter to King Ragnar. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Why not? He's at Sargoth at the moment. Sargoth is not too far away at all. Let's go ahead and uh, put all of these guys that are ready to level up up. I, however, am not, which is a bit of a shame. But I can head down to Sargoth for my marshal and for my king, send a lovely little message between them and uh, make them like me a little bit more. Because I like the Nords. I mean, I always play as the Nords, so I'm not going to renew this contract after it's um, after it ends because I do want to play as some other people. But just, you know, just getting some experience out there, jumping around between people is always fun. Although we will go and recruit... Five more people. That's that's very good. That's a very successful recruiting scheme there. Um, and some people are ready to upgrade one of those recruits. Lovely. So, yeah, I, I don't want to uh, extend my contract at all. I do want to go and fight some other people and not be tied down to the Nords as I always am. And, in fact, maybe fighting the Nords would be, you know, fun in and of itself because looking at them, they seem pretty weak they seem like i could go and take them on relatively easily so you know there's that uh y'all girl lad yeah but you like me now so i work for you so you can't fight me and everyone likes me again fantastic i wish to become a sworn man and fight your for your honor no no i don't i really don't i always do that uh that blubbering fool king halas not fit to rule tear God knows he would be divested of his lands in an instant were it not for one of his loyal vassals, Count Merchant. As long as he has his vassals aiding him, it will be a difficult job beating him. So I need to get Count Merchant out, out of the picture. And I have a plan just to do that with your help, naturally. My lord, I am all ears. I have written a fake letter to Count Merchant, bearing my own seal, which implicates him in a conspiracy with us to stage a coup in Tyr in my favour. If we can make King Harnas believe the letter is genuine, he will deal with Count Merchout very swiftly. Of course, the challenge there is to convince King Harnas that the letter is indeed real. Please continue. This is where you come into play. You'll take the letter to Tia, then give it to one of your soldiers and instruct him to take it to Count Merchout. 
I'll have one of my spies inform the town garrison so that your man will be arrested on his way. The guards will then find the letter and take it to King Harlaus. They'll torture your man, of course, to try and get the truth out of him, but all he knows is that you ordered the letter to be delivered to Count Merchout under the utmost secrecy. King Harlaus knows you serve me, and the fool will certainly believe the whole charade. Your messenger must be someone trustworthy. If you send the letter with a simple peasant, someone expendable, King Harlaus might suspect a plot. He may have the wits of a snail, but even a snail can see the obvious. Give the letter to someone of rank, one of your Swadian knights, perhaps. I can't send one of my trusted Swadian knights to his death. Yes, I can. I am not a nice person in this playthrough. We are... We are not playing the good character. We are playing the bad character. So on that bombshell, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. And also, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.